What is one of the most powerful and destructive emotions that can haunt us? Shame. Shame can be a silent killer lurking in the shadows, whispering that we're not good enough, that we're flawed, and that we don't deserve love or belonging. For many of us who have battled addiction and are on the path to recovery, shame can be an overwhelming and crippling force. We're going to expose shame for what it is, understand how it affects us, and learn how we can break free from its grip. Shame is an intensely painful feeling or experience of believing that we are flawed and therefore unworthy of love and belonging. It's that voice inside our heads that tells us we're not good enough, that we will never measure up. For those of us who have struggled with addiction, shame often plays a central role. It's not just the guilt of our actions, but it's a deep-seated belief that there's something inherently wrong with us. Shame thrives in secrecy. It grows when we keep our struggles hidden and when we isolate ourselves from others. The more we hide, the stronger it becomes. It tells us that if people knew the truth about us, they would probably reject us. This belief can drive us deeper into addiction as we try to numb the pain of our unworthiness. Think about those moments when you felt alone, drowning your sorrows in a bottle, hiding your true self from the world. Shame whispers that you are unlovable, that your mistakes define you, that you are beyond redemption. For parents, shame can be especially crippling. We worry that our flaws and our failures will somehow damage our children, that they will inherit our struggles. We fear that we are not good enough, that we are failing the most important people in our lives. This can create a cycle of guilt and shame where we feel unworthy of our children's love and unable to be the parents that they actually deserve to have. Shame also affects our relationships. It isolates us, making it difficult to connect with others. We might push people away, afraid that they will see our true selves and reject us. This can strain our relationships with our partners, our friends, and our family. The fear of being exposed can lead us to build those walls, keep those loved ones at a large distance. We become trapped in our own minds, believing that we are unworthy of connection and love. Here's the thing about shame. It cannot survive being spoken. When we bring our shame into the light, when we share our stories and our struggles with others, it begins to lose its power. This is why community and connection are so crucial in the journey of recovery. When we open up to others, we realize that we are not alone. Others have faced similar battles and that we are worthy of love and belonging just as we are. This is how I overcame alcohol. I got vulnerable, I shared my story, and I connected and built a community. Imagine sitting in a room full of people who understand your pain who nod in recognition as you share your darkest moments. Imagine the weight just lifting off your shoulders as you realize that you are actually not alone, that your story is one of many. This is the power of vulnerability and connection. By sharing our truth, we not only free ourselves from the grip of shame, but also give others the courage to do the same. To overcome shame, we need to practice, it's a hard one, self-compassion, this means treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend. It's about recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and that our worth is not defined by our worst moments. Self-compassion allows us to forgive ourselves and to see our inherent worthiness. It's waking up each day and telling yourself that you are enough just as you are. Another powerful tool in overcoming shame is vulnerability. This means allowing ourselves to actually be seen, imperfections and all. It's about taking the risk to share our true selves with others even when it's terrifying. Vulnerability is the pathway to connection and healing. When we show up authentically, we invite others to do the same and we build relationships based on trust and mutual support. Consider the strength it takes to look in the mirror and say, this is who I am. I am worthy of love and belonging. No, it's not easy, but it's incredibly powerful. When we embrace our vulnerabilities, we find that our connections with others deepen and that fear of rejection starts to fade. We begin to see ourselves through a different lens 
of compassion rather than criticism. It's important to remember that overcoming shame is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes persistence. There will be setbacks, but each step we take towards self-acceptance and connection brings us closer to a life free from the grip of shame. It's about celebrating the small victories and continuing to push forward even when it feels so difficult. Every moment of courage, every act of vulnerability brings us closer to the person that we are meant to be. You are not alone. Your story with all its pain and triumphs is part of a larger human experience. Embrace your journey, speak your truth, and watch as the chains of shame begin to break. Shame can be a powerful and destructive force, but it doesn't have to define us. By understanding it, confronting it, and sharing our stories, we can break free from its grip. So remember, vulnerability is strength, and connection is key to healing. If you're struggling with shame, know that you are not alone, that there is a community ready to support you. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so please share them in the comments below so we can support each other on this journey. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to check out my other videos for more insights and tips. Stay strong, stay informed, and take care of yourself. I will see you in the next video.